Welcome to this how-to stats video which demonstrates how to perform a one sample Z test in SPSS. Now if you look into the internet and you look uh, in textbooks uh, you'll find that uh, there is no way to actually do a one sample Z test in SPSS through the graphical user interface which is the, the menus or some extra inbuilt syntax commands that SPSS has created itself uh, really it's actually not possible to do a one sample Z test in SPSS but what I've done is I've created some easy to use syntax myself which can perform the one sample Z test now just to refresh your memory or to help you uh, know whether you should be doing a one sample Z test I'll just say briefly we use a one sample Z test when we want to test the difference between a sample mean and a population mean uh, where the population standard deviation is also known. It's quite rare to have data that are consistent with those circumstances, but one case that you do see in the literature where the one sample Z test is used is where you compare the mean of a sample against a normative database. And in the example that I'm going to show you today, the uh, hypothesis is that a sample mean of uh, Wexler IQ test scores are higher than the normative sample IQ scores. In IQ testing the mean is typically 100 and the standard deviation is 15 and people infer that, that those are population values and in this case I'm going to test the hypothesis that a sample mean of 105 with a sample size of uh, 35 is larger than 100. Now to show you what you need to do to test this hypothesis, you need to grab the syntax from uh, this uh, post which is called One Sample Z Test SPSS which is uh, in the How To Stats uh, website. So you just have to find the One Sample Z Test SPSS uh, page and you will find uh, this syntax and you just need to copy the entirety of the syntax and I'll tell you what it means as soon as I input it into SPSS. It looks long but it's actually not very complicated. So just control C, copy that and put that into a new syntax file in SPSS. So to create a new syntax file go to File, New, Syntax and Control V or Paste. Now all this information here at the uh, on top is really just explanations of how to use the syntax, but I'm just going to tell you verbally what you need to do. It's actually quite simple. All you have to manipulate in the syntax are the four values underneath the begin data command line. And the first value here, 35, is the sample size. So you need to put your sample size into that first value. Uh, it's unlikely to be 35. You just put in what you put in what what your sample size is. Now, in the second piece of information is your actual sample mean. Now, you'd calculate the sample mean by using uh, descriptive statistics in SPSS if you already had a column of data in SPSS. And you can check out another video I have on uh, calculating mean, median, and mode in SPSS if you needed to calculate the mean for your own data. This syntax assumes that you've done that already. So the sample size is 35, the sample mean is 105, 